Okay, hi everybody that is here. Uh, so I'm back today playing The Sims 4. Why? Well, you know, everything has been kind of sucky recently with COVID and everything. And I just want to chill for a moment. So I wanted to play a game that I already know, which is The Sims. I know it pretty well. Um, I'm also going to be playing the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, which I also know a little bit already. And I don't love it. So I'm also going to be complaining a lot, which I think is good for, you know, the vibe of general suckiness that is COVID work life right now. So that's what I'm going to be doing um, to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys and myself also is here's what I did. I made... Um, a family of eight people. I color coded them for your convenience. Some of them are eco lovers, they're in green. And the black ones, I, I want them to be like industrial sims. Um, but that is not a trait that you can have. So instead they are all materialistic and mostly ambitious as well. So I tried to prepare, you know, be all ready for you guys. Uh, but I haven't quite finished. So as you can see though, I've been building living quarters for all of them. I'm just gonna finish that real quick. Are you hearing the music okay or too loud? Please let me know. Um, I'm gonna turn down the music for myself a little bit anyway. Game options. I don't know what object music is. It's gonna be great. It's not changing anything for me. Just let me know if the music is off somehow. Okay. Um, right. So what I want them to do is I want them to have a battle over the fate of this neighborhood. So... Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Um, so some of them will be fighting for everything green. The music is too loud. Okay. <laughs> the crescendo, is it better now or... Anyway, I'm just gonna change the music down again, just to see... Audio... I... Hoping that's better. If it's not loud enough, also, please just let me know. Okay, so as I was saying, this is a version of The Sims where Sims have politics as well. So they can go to the mailbox and influence the world around them by voting for stuff. And um, let's, not, let's not make any judgments on how well that works right now, but let's just experience it. Because mostly what I've been doing, and I think the way that the game's intended to be played, is that you make a sim and you know you give them goals and everything and then you just live them and you know have them fight for what they think is important but i was thinking what if not all sims agree together so we have team industrial right the black wearing sims and then we have team eco and they have competing goals so they're all going to be voting for different things and see who wins I, I have a suspicion who's going to win, by the way. Do they? They need beds, probably. Here's so picky. I have a suspicion, and if you guys have suspicions as well, I would love to hear them. Because I think I know who's going to win. We've played this game before. I think I've already given a hint as well. I could tell you who is going to win. I, I'm sorry, I was I would make this look cooler, but I just don't want to spend the time on it right now. So it's just gonna be really really sad. Which I think that's good. Um okay, so then I'm just going to free will as much as possible. See if I can change that. Uh gameplay. Disable autonomy. No. Yes. Full autonomy. Can I do other stuff? 
Auto age. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> I can have 80 sims? No. If I'd known that. Anyway, I was gonna give them a lot of autonomy, a lot of free will to do whatever they want, and otherwise get them started a little bit and just see what they want. And I think I will give them their way a lot, but I will also engage with them. Um, uh, with the mechanics that are, you know, the political things. I got, I did get the free holiday expansion kit or whatever it is, just stuff. It's very silly. I like it. They all have Christmas sweaters too. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have told you that, but who knows? You might not see it at all. Okay. Ooh, food. I should give them food. I was thinking I'm all set, but people eat as well. Okay. We can expand on everything later, I think. Just going to live a very simple life right now. It is kind of sad though. Good. Give me the right colors. Everything will be green here. Oh yeah, the candles, I forgot about that. It's not a good idea. Black here, so cool. They can wash their dishes in the bathroom, but okay, that's normal, guys. Don't worry about it. They do it all the time. Okay. Happy life, all set up. Ready to fight the good fight or the bad fight. See what happens. Okay. Oh, I gave them all names, by the way, based off of things that they were saying in the create a sim menu. So this one was going, oh yeah, Philiburg Okenkray. So that's their name. That's how that happens on the sims for me. Uh, okay, turn on speed. Let's see what Philip wants. Be mischievous. Be, buy an object. Well, fine. Oh, we already did that, by the way. Um, this is Shube Shube, which, again, yes, thank you. They name themselves, which I think is good. Um, she wants boring things, but I'm just going to let them go and see what happens. This is better. Start a new career. I want that. And also he wants an object. The materialistic sims, I think, are very easy to please. It's very easy to figure out how they're wired. Give me stuff. This one wants to garden. I think that's a good desire. I'm gonna let them have that one. Select a career. Okay. As industrial as possible, I think. Criminal sounds kind of good, though. Um, secret agent. It does have fire. I don't know anything else. I do think, though, honestly, that special services are going to be very resource heavy. That's what I think. Just because, you know, the fire and the helicopters, they're not going to worry about, you know, doing an extra print or two. Tech guru. Well, you know, he's the first one. I think I'm just going to make him go for business. In the meantime, guys, the thing that I actually want to talk about today <laughs> and that's been on my mind for a while is, is the Sims a dystopian game or a utopian game? Honestly, I think about it all the time. That sounds a bit extreme, but I do honestly, I've given it so much thought because there are things to the Sims that are, in my opinion, completely utopian and that are, you know, just so lovely. And yeah, Kyle, I'm definitely hoping for your input there as well, because uh, obviously this is much more your expertise than mine. But I'm just, I can't figure it out. Because on the one hand, you have stuff like, you know, all Sims are completely socially open and they will treat all the other Sims, you know, as complete equals perfectly. They all get the same job opportunities, basically. They get rewarded in the same way. 
<laughs> yes, thank you. This is a perfect collaboration. So that kind of stuff is really nice in terms of equality. But then, on the other hand, it's like that equality always leads to one thing, and it's, you know, capitalism. And that's the way, that's the thing that you can do and it's going to make you happy. So... I don't know. I didn't need that time to grab I have the ground. What? Oh, you are also naming next Super Baby Sims, I guess, Felix? Quasmo, too. Oh. Oh, oh, what? oh, she's just gardening on her own? That's so rude. Oh, yeah, the Sims can have their own signature walks now. Which I like. I don't know why he's talking to people in black. I'm way distracted from gameplay already, but that's fine. Do you go for a jog? Oh, you can do that. Oh. What do you want? Meet someone new. Earn dollars and love it. Do that. Also do that. A capitalist utopia. I think that's kind of true. And then... As we may see today, or I can just tell you, in some of the expansions... They can kind of do non-traditional jobs or be their own boss and make stuff. And I think I made some of them. The, I gave them the, I think, freaking traits, which is where they don't like shopping and they don't like, you know, the market so much. But then also everything is kind of a market on The Sims. Okay, Ribe needs a job as well. I think he can be the criminal, or maybe astronaut. I think astronaut's way cooler. Let's do that. Also, it's very environmentally heavy, I think. Oh no, he already had a job. Okay, the next one's gonna be an astronaut. I like shouting at the guys. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I kind of want to feel of a reality TV show for the Sims, where they again battle for the fate of the Why an object? Share ideas. Stupid desire. Yeah, let's have a look at he's gardening. Let's have a look at the how that works. So this lady who is of course called Proven Dogs will go to the mailbox and she can vote currently for neighborhood action plans that are eco-friendly appliances. So she would probably do that because she's in the green, right? Foodies unite. Um, Juice community, modern development, we wear bags, upcycling, you can do that as well, and power conservation, which would also be good, I think. Um, so, well, we can't vote right now because we don't have influence points. You get influence points by displaying behavior that's the current action plan. So, if you have to have an income to not die, is that different? So, that is a bit more complicated. So, I think you can have... Hang on, I'm sorry. Wait. Cancel. Don't want to manage the world, I want to do this one. I think... Oh yeah. Then we have lot type. And the lot itself can have traits, like being off the grid, I think. I'm not seeing it. Ooh. Um, but it does exist, I promise you. And uh, if you're off the grid, you don't pay, you don't have um, uh, bills that are as high. So I don't know if you need no income at all, but at least less. And you could grow your own food, like we're doing a little bit now. Um, utopian intentions are acknowledged, but we can also critique them from outside. 
utopians have always been criticized. That's true. Oh yeah, I will. That's true. <laughs> they are much louder. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, but it, is it a utopia? A utopia of what? You know, I'm so confused. Ooh, a person. We can get action points from them. They all should. Learn about voting green. Oh, he's for voting green. They're gonna love that. Okay. You're gonna do it. What else? Oh, he's talking to a plant. That's fine. Learn about voting green. Oh no, it's not happening. They're a little bit stubborn sometimes, I guess. Oh wow, there it is. Okay, so this is an explanation, obviously, of the whole political mechanic. Um, he's saying. A voting board or even a mailbox will allow you to vote and he's showing that there are three uh, neighborhood initiatives that actually uh, improve the environment so thanks for the info uh, what can happen I uh, specifically picked a neutral neighborhood that's kind of not super green but also not industrial right now because you know because of the battle so it is kind of cool, however, hang on, I don't know how to get those points. Let's see if we can still have a look that's a little bit better. Oh, thank you for saying that again. Um, the thing is though that it is almost impossible <laughs> to activate action plans that harm the environment, which I think is a bit lame. And I think it would be a really cool mechanic if some of the things that you can choose would actually harm the eco uh, <laughs> yeah welcome guys uh, that would harm the eco status of the neighborhood i think that would be much better and more exciting as well so for example we could imagine an action plan where you know everything's a little bit cheaper so you don't spend as much money on food and on uh, taxes or whatever the bills are you know and that'd be great Nice. Industrial sims. Um, but I mean, you're gonna have a hard time though because they're they're not they're not set up for success. The industrial sims, maybe their own success. But that's another thing that I find a little disheartening about this kind of utopian sims life is that there is a kind of non-zero sum game. So all of these other people, you know are just doing their own thing and i mean they would sim suffer you know if we make manage to make the neighborhood industrial somehow but in terms of class war so to speak or conflict or some sims work labor going into the pockets of other sims is obviously not a thing right it's just you move on up and then you get more money and it comes from nowhere because it's infinite and that's a bit sad or sad i mean it's great it's wonderful it's actually great but it's sad to me because it doesn't reflect how things seem to work in real life and i wish that i would or maybe i don't but if it doesn't you know i feel like this whole political uh, mechanic is confusing to me because i don't understand I don't understand what it's giving us exactly, but maybe you guys do, and I would love to hear it. Let's get some more carrots out. I know there are though some really wonderful uh, streamers and stuff who do dark play on The Sims on YouTube, and it's very weird. And I think that The Sims has always been designed. You like gardening? No, you like industry, my friend. No. Thank you. Um, really weird. 
uh, the game has, has always been designed as kind of a... Oh, don't do that. Uh, you can do anything sandbox kind of game, right? Not anything, clearly, but... And I, uh, I remember that always, every iteration of The Sims, there would be people that just play the game to do weird shit, you know, like have as many sims die as possible on a lot just to get, get that cool haunted graveyard up. It's a lot of work, apparently. And trick the system in weird ways. Okay, the gameplay right now, I admit, is very boring because I didn't buy anything that they can engage with, so they're just standing there talking. I realize that. I might just speed up the game and make sure they all get jobs. She can be the astronaut or the... Other thing I wanted them to be. <sighs> yeah, maybe they've hit the limits of their fantasy. I, I think that may be true, and sometimes it feels like they are just kind of wanting to do this thing that is good. So you know, bring in, bring in some reflection on on ecology and environment and how to live politically. But <laughs> um, uh, but maybe it's just maybe it's just not working so well, or maybe it just doesn't fit with the way that they designed the core of the mechanics, which is uh, capitalistic, I think. Uh, and especially, I mean, thinking back to Sims One, which was so fun, but really a kind of boring game where nothing happened. It was just the things that you did were social, so you would meet sims around you and have relationships with them and work and then try to get promotions of work nothing else happened and buy stuff of course that's so true kyle they are just denied all of their shopping rights that's so sad i know this sim she's gonna offer to marry us but for money or she's gonna offer us money no wait it's another person Voting for profit, anyway. We're for that with Team Industrial, right? Teach me. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't run. Lady. Okay, you can tell her, too. She's industrial. Profitable neighborhood action plans. Okay. Modern development, tech support, and promote creative arts. Yeah. That's how they get you, the neoliberal industrials. It's the creative arts, guys. I did not know this. <laughs> wow. The creative arts. Cool. Cool. Okay, oh yeah, I was gonna look at their desires. Mm. The parody of the hamster wheel. Depressing work by work cycle is intentional. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you told me that. That kind of would not surprise me. That would not surprise me. It, I heard that Monopoly was invented by someone who was trying to do a deep critique of capitalism as well. But then Hasbro or whoever bought it was like, yeah, that's cute, but this is the fun part. It's capitalism, so we're keeping that good. It's weird. I don't know, it seems kind of terrifying to me. Like, can you imagine making something that you legitimately want to do good with? And then it kind of turns into the opposite. Wow. So dark. I really like this walk though, the creepy walk. I would give all of my sims the creepy walk maybe next time. It's so good. He does a good face to it as well. What's up, the cool Noor? Lucy! 
And yeah, you know, I mean, um, other parts about The Sims that I think are really, really uh, progressive have always been stuff like, you know, all Sims are enthusiastically bisexual. And in this run, you can have Sims that, I think, this lady, I don't know if I can see it anywhere, but you can specifically check boxes like she can, I think, pee standing up, but she can also birth babies. And she prefers men's clothes, but she has a, you know, more feminine build, which I think is really neat. You know, you can just why not? It's, it's a computer model, so computer isn't gonna be like, oh, but nature. So it's easier than real life in a way, because none of these sins are judging, and I think that's cool. But then everything else is just capitalism. I don't think is really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw some videos of that as well, where, where people just kind of miss the point <laughs> of what it's about. Yeah, it's so so sad, but also kind of funny. Okay, I'm getting bored. Let us. Oh, you're talking to someone that is always good. She wants to get to know. Well, she's not on your team though. You can buy a pool, I'm all for that. And I actually do know that Sims 4 pools will take up a lot of water, which is good for her. Industrial. Pool tool. Great. They have the vegetable garden, they have the pool. Fair is fair. Are you happy now? Yes. Buy a TV. Well, I would, lady, but you don't have separate bedrooms, so then no one will sleep ever. We can make a separate bedroom. It's not a pleasant, not a pleasant design. I also didn't paint the walls. I will now. They will be black. Don't worry about it, guys. That's what they want. They're too industrial. Can't find any black walls. It's weird. You'd think there'd be so many of them. Very surprising. Basic darks, then. That's fine. That is fine. That's true. That's true. That was one of the Halloween costumes that so many people were wearing. And I think also lining up for, which, which, I don't know, I want to say it makes me sad, but it also is so magical. It's this whole thing kind of coming alive in its own way. That doesn't make sense. But it's just what humans do, right? I think that's so great. Oh, this is the worst. The worst layout ever. No one can live here. Penguin TV, obviously. No, bigger, bigger screen, because more emissions. We need them. Can you go up the wall? Can't. Oh, fine. Oh, I should lock the doors. That'll be really cool. I shouldn't exaggerate. That will be okay. So their names are going to be really hard to remember because they're all in Simlish. So this is called Philly Buck. So we should lock this door for... Oh, he can't. He can only lock this one. That's good. Lock door for a specific sim. So Priven is in green. She can go in. Pushkin can't go. Markle, definitely not allowed. And Shubi Shubi can't be there either. Good.
Yeah, I think it was kind of similar or, well, similar-ish with, uh, what's the other one that I'm thinking of? Casa de Papel, which also was about, you know, revolt and the system and also crime, but, you know, in the name of revolution. And then, I don't know, is it good when people pick it up with everything? Or does it, you know, water down the, the effect? I don't really know. I don't know anything, seems like. Science is terrible like that. <laughs> you know, Kyle, maybe that could work. Maybe we're getting close, you know, like people want to get engaged with the material so that's true you know we're that close let's perform it together but maybe we can take it one step further you know and just actually get all in the costumes and just act out the revolt like it happened in one of the shows or something but for real am i sounding super confident because i'm i'm organizing the revolution and I know what I'm doing for sure. <laughs> Make a group meal? Now there's a plan. That's great. Dumplings always. Good. Oh, why don't you go pee? There's a toilet. I mean, do what you want, but it seems like a hot choice. That's good. I like food. Um, you guys are weird. Are you just standing here waiting, waiting until you pee or so? I'm not. They have to figure that out for themselves, I think. Mm, v for Vendetta. I don't really know anything about the appropriation there. Can you... Can you... <laughs> I guess typing is annoying, but if you don't mind, like... Can you tell me a little bit about that? Because... What do people do with it? I do know about Fight Club, though. Because... In Fight Club, it's kind of... <laughs> You know, you're not supposed to take the main characters seriously because they're wrong and they're criminals and they're deluded and mentally suffering, you know, like severe, severe insomnia and probably other issues as well. But then this kind of first part of the message, this kind of, oh, this world isn't working for me, something's wrong, which fair enough, you know, that can be true. But that resonates with people so much that they kind of take the whole thing and run with it. So fascinating to me. So great. I feel like I'm misusing the word great a little bit. But I guess you know what I mean, maybe? I hope. Hey, you shouldn't go in the pool. That's not for you. Guess I can't stop you. Still. Is he yelling at mushrooms? That is awesome. Yes, he is! feelings are good, so I'm gonna... Go to my yard and yell. Oh, it's still someone's face. Yes, it's still one of the industrial sims' faces. Please, go outside so he can insult you. Oh, it's, it's happening, guys. It's on. Be insulted. I'm so wedge pulling go. Ah! Oh. Gotha! 
flip, huh? Uh -huh. She's no, loving it. That's good really too. I'm gonna speed up time because I want them to start their jobs and maybe something will impact the... This is floating, that's cool. How do we know how many action points we have? Oh, they're sleeping. Well, that's fine. Oh, they can vote, so they make points somehow. Do you feel like The Sims, uh, Blake Ryan, would be good for high school economics and sociology? Who is voting? Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, modern development. Great. Okay, that was 10 points. I do... Okay, well, I guess she got her first, right? That's capitalism too. She can vote twice. Use up all the family's points. Buying more objects, that's good. I can't pin this one because it's pink. I like how they float. I would do that too, I think. I don't swim very well. Make a friend, aww. Can definitely watch TV. Well, hurry up, you guys. Oh, he has to pee real bad, too. Glad he made it. Fish? Yes. Why don't you sleep, man? Oh, I didn't assign them beds. I think I just pick a bed. That's fine. Their autonomy is weird. Like they're comfortable sleeping on the couch but not in one of the beds. Oh! Oh, I see. Didn't build a door. Their autonomy is not weird. My building is weird. It's my mistake, you guys. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's a statement, Yost. A bedroom without a door. What does it mean? This is weird too. She's just napping now. Well, I'm not telling them what to do. He's napping too. So strange. On someone else's bed? I'm just gonna let them be. No, Russ, that's good, actually, Yo, it's like, on the industrial side, maybe they can be too good for sleep. Or, is this a kid's bed? No, they can sleep in it. Okay, good. Speaking with plants a lot here over on the green side. Oh, Philobux is going to sleep, work, I mean, but he's also exhausted. That's going to be great. And really hungry. Okay, that's good. Oh, they work at the same place? That's boring. Well, that was a mistake. Someone else is fishing. I find that interesting too, that fishing is uh, like an almost eco activity here. We should have more bathrooms. You know, that's what green sims do, is they go into the great outdoors and kill fish. An analyst asks Philo Buck to calculate some trajectories for satellite orbits. Snooze fest. Try to find a formula to make the equations easier or calculate each one by hand. I know the answer to this one because I've learned that every coder that is good is first and foremost lazy or at least looking to find a way to make their own job easier. You should never calculate by hand. Like, you know, you're better off spending two hours finding a good formula than an hour and a half calculating each one by hand. Because you know your boss is gonna make you do it again, right? How did that turn out? Don't know. Well, good luck. Off to work. 
Well, materialistic sims need to buy new things and enjoy admiring and discussing their belongings. That's okay. Oh, right, here's the formula outcome. He completes the task sooner than expected and shares his secret with the rest of the team. It's dumb. I mean, for him, because he's ambitious and stuff. But he does get a small performance gain. Oh! Voting period's over and Foodies is going to win? That's... I don't agree with that. Oh, good, he's angry again. I love this. He wants a rage run, but we're not doing that. He could chat with her. No, he's just uncomfortable. <laughs> Buy a pool light. It's not green at all. You're not getting that. Yes, you optimize, right? Okay, this is a green person. And... They are going to... Okay. They are going to be voting for eco-friendly appliances while all of the industrial sims are out. But... Oh! That's looking uh, interesting. Because Foodies Unite are tied with modern development. And eco-friendly appliances is only one vote behind. The thing is that I don't know which is the current active action plan, so I don't know how we're getting those voting points. <laughs> Sim interaction rituals. You know what? I don't think that they do it, ever. Oh, something's wrong with the toilet. Can you fix it, please? No, don't mop. That's pointless because something's literally broken right next to you. Uh, I don't think that sims do interaction rituals. They will sometimes synchronize to listen to, uh, you know, someone playing the piano, but they don't seem to get anything out of doing that together. Ooh, the ontological agency of the sims. You know, that's an interesting one. I don't think that they have any. As a player, you kind of have some, because, you know, that's even more interesting than I was thinking. They are very individualistic, yes, very, very, very much so. But I think initially in The Sims, when it was just a kind of work grind, day-to-day uh, -day sim, it was in a way more ontologically interesting because you would just make up stuff in your mind, right? So now we have all of this personality. I don't know where to find that, but that's fine. We have a personality for each sim. There it is. And they have likes and dislikes. And they have these desires when they're awake. And in Sims 1, they would have some character traits, but mostly they were the same. And they would just be in the world and then in your brain you would go oh yeah he's definitely annoyed because work was really grinding his gears today and that's why he wants to spend all the afternoon watching cooking shows on TV because that's the only thing that will calm him down when he gets like this so in a way it would give you more agency to kind of uh, kind of make sense of the of the mechanisms of the world Whereas now, so much is already determined that, you know, it kind of leads you from A to B. Looks like famous. Oh, hey, I think this woman is suffering from the lack of functioning bathroom. He's really bad, by the way, Brushkin, at fixing toilets. He shouldn't be doing that. How about you, Markel? Repair thing. Yeah, role parenting, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, it used to be a little bit like a dollhouse, right? Where you would just kind of go. And now they're eating and now they're having fun. He's much better at this. Look, you're already really dirty. It doesn't matter. Go swim or something, maybe it works. What does negative space mean, Kyle? Can you explain that? 
Oh, my poor Sims. They're breaking a little bit. Sorry. Can you leave? She doesn't have a job. Does she want one? She wants to buy an object. We can do that. Oh, space not filled in by the game is negative space. Yeah, that's true. There isn't much of that. And yeah, yeah, I know it from pictures, right? The kind of area where not much is going on. Okay, so create the overall impression you're saying. Allowing for interpretation. That's right, they're just. Maybe the game got too good, you know, for The Sims. Um, it's just. It's just everything is really, really defined and, and beautifully so, I think, you know, it's it works really well and and there's a lot of fun there. But yeah. It's not as much of a oh, smart speaker, I love that. Of a creative effort from the player. Oh, does that exist? Sims games that just don't really fill in anything? Sim Fortress is Kyle's answer. Is that good? <laughs> or fun? Oh, they can play trivia. I would definitely play trivia based on The Sims. I feel like I know a lot of some trivia. Yes. Dwarf Fortress? I love how you guys just understand each other all the time. I honestly don't know what is Dwarf Fortress. Is that weird? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Which was gardening sim? Was that you? Yeah. Go guard. Oh! He's angry swimming. I do really enjoy this angry sim and how he can angry anything. Oh, voting! Almost forgot about the voting. Okay, but she's really dirty, she doesn't want to. She's also really dirty and doesn't want to. Okay, well, do it anyway. Or if you get there first, what? Nope, she's not. <laughs> Good angry walk. Oh, they're winning! Wow. You know, angry swimming is probably healthier than other outlets like angry talking to Yeah, let's give him some audience. Glank. Glank. I'm keeping that one. Oh, they're all really gross. They, I don't think that they have enough bathrooms. Or doors. It's fine. They'll be fine. He's gonna move this one so they can fix it. Cool hat, you guys. It's really cute. Why don't they sleep in the beds? That's so weird. Get actual sleep, man. I don't want to steer them too much, but this is... Just Maybe I should have for industrial sims. Dwarf for 
fortress is like The Sims, but it's in the form of a rogue like, like case of cut abstract art, but super complex simulation. Oh, that sounds kind of cool, actually. Does it have an eco lifestyle expansion? Oh yeah, I should definitely probably <laughs> show you guys uh, how some of that works, because this is the chance that we get. Eco. Um, I was kind of... That's not what I mean at all. What I want is eco appliances. That's not a thing. Okay. Well, outdoors. Not go. Oh my gosh. Cool. Is this a statue? This is awesome. I'm fully distracted, you guys. Anyway, I was looking for eco appliances because they exist and they can allow you, like we were talking about earlier, to live off the grid. Oh, here we go. So this is a dew collector, so you don't need water anymore. And here we have a solar panel. Let's just get that. So we'll make everybody happy. Because it's expensive for, you know, the materialists, but it's also eco-friendly for the rest. So wind energy, again, you can be off the grid if you um, have your own source of electricity and uh, water, or if you're okay not having either one of those, which is very annoying. You have the uh, gardening boxes and uh, for uh, an insect farm. I think you can eat the insects too, so that's kind of cool. Let's do that. Who needs jobs, right? Have insects. And what else? We have a power generator. Ooh, that's actually industrial footprint. footprint. Let's get one of those for over on this side. You know, we're just gonna get all the energy. And what else? A water generator from the atmosphere. I feel like there's other stuff. Oh yeah, and there's like a, a laser 3D printer, I guess, that you can fill with trash. So yeah, someone was talking yesterday, I think, about Sims collecting trash, and that's one of the reasons why you would do that. That I don't understand, because from what I've heard, if you actually want to do 3D printing, you're going to spend some money on materials that are actually good. It'd be cool though, if you could print with trash, it'd be better. That game sounds, sounds kind of cool, actually. I should probably <laughs> play that next time. Expensive environmentalism. Yeah. Yeah, that's very The Sims, though. Oh, they're so unhappy. I would say it's because of capitalism, but it's fully my fault. I just didn't take care of them with the, you know, the door incident and the eight people, one bathroom incident as well. But you know, we virtually live and we learn. Hmm. I have to say, I'm not super good with inaccessible games. I uh, played the Lichenia game for a while the other day, which also is kind of inaccessible, but that one's so story-less almost. I mean, it has story pop-ups and they're just little snippets of, of the story so that's you know kind of its own thing almost and then the gameplay is just so very elusive and you don't even know what you're doing so that was okay for a while but then also I have no clue how far I got in the game so to speak you know what I got out of it and whether there's more to discover no clue. Okay, this game... Why can they not vote? It's closed. Check neighborhood action plans. Okay, 
do you get the influence points by using green uh, upgraded appliances or by repairing any appliance? Seems <laughs> that seems really boring. Um, oh, this is some great stuff. Yes, can we do that? Put angry swimmer in its kind of human hamster wheel. That's this one, right? But he's all happy and inspired now, but that would be so great. You could just run it off every day. I love it. I don't think it's possible, but I do love it. I wonder if there's mods for that. Sims is always kind of mods heavy, but I never use them. Okay. Well, I feel bad for the work sims. Look at them. Sleeping in the middle of the day. <laughs> in their black room with their black black hearts for capitalism. too they have weird dreams hey and now they're dreaming about a gravestone <laughs> oh she's up very organized oh he's getting up too dream some more fill a buck Bye, May. Yeah, I think though, May, that the first round goes to the eco team. They got the action planning. I wish that Sims would have individual political power though. Because as you can see, see, it gets really confusing where they're all heaped together for an entire household and then one of them can do the thing that makes the political power somehow and other people can use it to vote. Maybe kind of realistic in a way, but for what I, what I'm trying to do now, it's actually really annoying. I want the battle. I guess that what I could have done maybe is get them different houses, but then I would have to change the active family all the time and reload and reload, and that seems like it'd be annoying too. But, actually, you know, I think with the first round of voting over, I think we should leave it here and just say that the Eco Sims team won this round, but Team Industrial Sim gets the real world so far. Sorry about that. And... <laughs> yeah, it's really challenging, Kyle, to get conflict in here. And actually, I saw a YouTube video uh, by this YouTuber called Plumbella, who plays The Sims a lot. And she tried to recreate her own industrial hometown. And it's incredibly freaking difficult. Just you buy all of those power generators uh, and stuff, and it's not enough. And on the other hand, you will do, you know, you will get the solar panels and do a off the grid household or something for a few days. Boom, green neighborhood. So I wish there was a bit more space for dark play here. And I mean, if nothing else, it would make it more rewarding to actually play for the good side because it can go wrong. And right now there's zero stakes. If you mess everything up, you go back to normal and nothing happens. Yeah, plausibility, that's a good one, Kyle. Yeah, but you know, Yost, I mean, it is pushing you into a play style, which is, I guess, like, good. But it makes it so boring that it makes me actually want to ignore all of those mechanics. Because it doesn't matter. And I wish that the game, game would fight back a little bit, and then I would actually care. 
to fight for good. No, I, I didn't think that you would find it good, Joes. But I mean, I can kind of relate to the to the designers maybe who would, you know, m maybe have people's best interests at heart and have in mind that they would go, you know, create an experience of how to do the eco and show how easy it is and how worthwhile it is. But then they only did the easy part and not the worthwhile part so much. Yeah. That is true. There are different options that you can see here. That's probably good. Anyway, I hope that this expansion will be updated a little bit. Uh, if not by EA, maybe there will be some cool mods that really make you fight for the good or bad. And then we can maybe... I'll look into that. And then we can see the next round in the battle for the neighborhood. But for now, I'm just going to say thanks to all of you for being here and chatting with me. And see you next time. Thank you.